Okay, this is the last of the four methods that I'm going to go over. This is one that I haven't gone over in class. It's a little bit of an advanced uh, method, and if you are comfortable with any of the other three methods, I encourage you to use those. Um, this is one that looks very similar to the area models or the distributive method. It's the distributed method without needing the table, essentially. Um, and so I will be happy to help anybody learn about it, but if this one is creating confusion for you, um, then I encourage you just to lean back on the ones that we have spent time on in class rather than to use this one. Um, FOIL um, and we're, the one we're going to do in, in this pr uh, problem on, in this video is 10 times or 17 times 15. Um, and the first thing we always do is put them in expanded notation. So seven, 17 in expanded notation is 10 plus 7. And um, 15 in expanded notation is 10 plus 5. Now FOIL is actually an acronym. Um, it's to help you keep uh, the process straight. Um, each of the letters in the word FOIL means something different. So here are what all the words mean. F is for first, uh, O is for outside, I is for inside, and L is for last. So what you're doing is, what we end up doing in, the, um, in all of the multiplication is we end up multiplying all four of these digits um, together in some sort of uh, fashion. But instead of having to draw a diagram, we're going to use the FOIL method to do this. So what we do is using the FOIL method, we're going to keep what we're multiplying to um, straight. So FOIL, the F means first. So we're going to multiply the first digits in both of our sets together. And we get 10 times 10. 10 times 10 gives us 100. Now O means outside. That means these two outside numbers that we have. That's 10 and 5. So we're going to link these two together like we've linked our first numbers. Outside numbers 10 and 5. So we multiply these two numbers together. 10 times 5 gives us 50. Now I means inside, so we're going to do these two inside numbers that are closest to each other. 7 times uh, 10, that gives us 70. And then the last numbers, those are the two last numbers. And we have kind of a crisscross here. 7 times 5 equals 35. And if you actually drew an area model, you find that you actually end up multiplying all of these numbers um, times each other just like this way. Um, but instead of having to do drawing it out or getting a, a sheet of paper that I've printed out for you, we've actually kind of um, done it really quick this way. So we end up adding them all together because again, that is the last step that we have done in the area model or in the distributive method. We get 5 here, and then we add 5 plus 3 is 12, 13, 14, 15, carry the 1, 1, 2, and 17 times 15 is 255. Now I'm going to check real quick with the standard um, algorithm just to make sure that that number is correct. So that uh, gives me 35, carry. 5 times 1 is 5, uh, 6, 7, 8. And then I'm going to put my x there, 1 and 7. Oh. And then 5, 5. So the FOIL method works. Now let's do another example. Okay, 29 times 18. First we put them in expanded notation. 20 plus 9 times 10 plus 8. Now, 
I have the foil listed here first. That's 20 and 10. That gives us 200. Outside, that's our two outside numbers. 20 plus 8. That gives us um, 160. Inside, our two inside numbers, 9 plus 10, that is 90. And then our two last numbers, 9 plus 8, or 9 times 8. Make sure you're multiplying all these numbers because you're crossing the multiplication sign. So you're always multiplying these numbers back and forth. That would give us 72. Then you add everything up. 2, that's uh, 15. Um, or hold on, there's 13, and then we add that, that's um, 22, I believe. I'll check. Um, 4, 5. Yes, so 29 times 18 is 522. So let's check with the standard um, algorithm. So that's 72, so that's um, 16, um, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, yes, and then 0, uh, 29, so that's 2, 2, 53, alright. That is the FOIL method.